Hello there, neighbor. I got five amazing stories for you today. First off, we got Viveport news, and then we have PlayStation Store Days of Play sale news, and then we have a little bit more news about a Beat Saber music pack update, and then on top of that, we have a, a stylus that's going to be supported by the Steam VR store. And then finally, I have casting your Oculus Quest view onto a TV. And as always, all of these videos and news stories will have timestamps in the description. So if you want to jump to one in particular, have at it. This first story can be summed up fairly easily. So for those of you who have Windows Mixed Reality headsets, you will be eligible to play on the Viveport Infinity service, HTC's Netflix style games as a service model for virtual reality games. You will be able to play on those as of June 5th. That being said, the price model for that one is sitting at $13 per month or $99 per year. Broken down month by month, that one is going to run you $833 per month. But as, as of course, it's billed all at once, so you, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But anyway, that one will save you money in the long run, but chances are, It'll save you even more because you're playing it as a subscription rather than buying all these games on their own. Because e each of these do do carry at least like a $20 price tag, chances are. So you are saving money by doing this subscription model as opposed to getting them all individually. So the next big thing we do have to look forward to is the PlayStation days of play sale that is starting as of the 7th of this month. That one will give quite a few different kinds of sales. First off, we have a $50 discount on quite a few hardware bundles. And then on top of that, we have a huge discount on some major PlayStation exclusives. In fact, the ones listed in this article include Days Gone, God of War, Spider-Man, and MLB The Show, 19 all starting at $20 a piece and then there's a few PlayStation hits games like I don't know Bloodborne or Ratchet and Clank those ones may start at $10 the, Those ones aren't listed specifically in the article, but I personally know them as PlayStation hits anyway blah 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 so They weren't specific on the exact breakdown of the bundle prices. However the campaign advertisements show that one of the bundles, Trover Saves the Universe and the new Five Nights at Freddy's game, Help Wanted, that bundle is going to start at $250 with the MSRP sitting at $300. So that's a good $50 discount giving you the system and a couple games, $250. And then the other one, Blood and Truth and Everybody's Golf, that one is also expected to have another $50 cut from 350 down to 300 <laughs> but that one hasn't been confirmed yet so here's hoping again like I said that one is going to that sale is going to run from the 7th all the way up until the 17th of this month so keep your eyes peeled for that this next piece of news is all about my favorite virtual reality game Beat Saber it's getting its next music pack on the 10th of June there's no confirmation yet on the number of songs or the price point, but the rumor is that it's going to be $2 per song, and if there are going to be 10 songs, it's likely to run around $12 to $13, and on top of that, it's going to be released on all virtual reality consoles in the current setup. So Valve Index, as well as HTC Vive, the Oculus Pro, Rift, Quest, and of course, PlayStation VR. All of those released on the 10th of June. So the next story I'm gonna talk about is about the Logitech VR Ink Pilot Stylus. What a mouthful. So the biggest takeaways you can get out of this article are, one, it is geared more for the enterprise aspect of the market rather than the consumer market. Two, it's geared more for design both in 2D and 3D while there are going to be some handwriting capable elements. 
And then on top of that, there are also gonna be some buttons on the stylus allowing you to be able to change things on the fly as necessary. So next up on top of that, we have integration with Tilt Brush and Vector Suite. However, they are committed to creating a software development kit for both the Unity and the Unreal Engine. So more software can be supported by this piece of hardware as time goes on. On top of that, it will not be supported by anything other than the, than the HTC line of headsets as Logitech does not allow for third party headsets or hardware of any kind to support it. That being said, don't, don't expect this thing anytime soon. No known launch details are known as of yet. Hey you, yes, you, maybe, is it me? Yeah, somebody. So, do you feel like having a party on your quest but don't know how? Well, guess what? Now there's a way you can stream stuff from your quest to a TV. Okay, so there, there's only three devices right now that can support this. There's the Chromecast version 3, the Ultra, and the Nvidia Shield TV. The base one, the original Chromecast is going to run you about $30 and the Ultra is going to run you $70. Both of these are going to plug into your HDMI ports, but the Shield TV is a, is a TV box that runs Android TV, which features built-in Chromecast Ultra. And it's the only TV box that the Quest can cast to. So here's how you can do it. While the Quest is being worn, you just got to open up the Oculus app on your smartphone, and then you got to hit the Cast button at the top of the screen. And then after that, you just got to pick the TV that you want to cast to. Obviously, it's going to be cast to whatever the Chromecast or NVIDIA box is connected to. And then on top of that, next up, whoever's wearing the Quest is going to be seeing a little prompt box inside their screen asking them if they want to go through with this. After they hit the confirm box in, in their screen, then after a few seconds, you'll be able to see and hear the quest in all of its virtual reality glory. If you're still here, don't forget to check out tomorrow's video when I'll be talking all about a level editor that's going to be coming to the Oculus Quest very soon. I believe that's a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.